There's really nothing better than a tree ripened peach in the summer, um, but it's not that easy just to plant a tree and, and let it go. Uh, peach trees require quite a bit of care to get a, a crop every year. And so one of the things that we have to really watch for is um, an insect called plum curculio. It's a weevil, it's native to our area, and it overwinters in leaf litter, in wooded areas around your yard, or around your trees. And then in the spring they come out and they uh, look for the fruit on the tree. And so that's why we recommend spraying insecticides from petal fall until uh, harvest time because they're continuously um, affecting your fruit load. So today I'm going to show you a way just to see if you have some, some plum curculio in your tree. So I've put out a sheet here on the ground. You can use um, a tarp or a towel or something, but this is, is bright white so it's going to be a little bit easier to see. And we're going to just shake a limb and see if we can get, um, see if we see any curculio on the ground. So um, let's just see uh, what we find here. Here's, an, here's one that has fallen. Here's a curculio that's fallen on the, on the tarp. We shook another limb and you can see um, it pretends that it, it's dead. And in a few minutes, it may hop up and, and run off very quickly. Um, but, but there is some damage to the peaches on this tree already. So uh, whenever the plum curculio feeds on the peaches when they're young, they usually end up dropping off. And so a lot of people comment that their peaches all fell off the tree. Well, a lot of the time that's due to, um, to insect feeding. And then if they, are, um, if they affect the feed on those fruits later in the season, you'll end up with um, worms in your peaches. And so I don't usually mind sharing a, a peach with a, with a curculio larva but I know most people don't. So you can cut around them and, and eat the rest of the peach, but if they're, um, if they're damaged pretty severely, a lot of the time there won't be any fruit even that are harvestable. So this is one thing that we wanted to, to look at. I've got some other curculio um, that we can show you what the adults look like, but they lay their eggs, they make a crescent shaped scar on the fruit, and then those eggs hatch and they, the larvae feed on the peach, traveling towards the pit. And so that's what's really causing the damage. The, uh, the, where they lay the egg, it also makes a misshapen place. And so the cells don't divide properly, so you get some, some odd looking fruit as well. But it's very important to make sure that you're applying fungicides and insecticides every 10 to 14 days from petal fall until harvest time to combat this, path, this pest. Curculio not only affect peaches, they affect other stone fruits like plums and nectarines, apricots, but they also affect palm fruits like apples and pears. So if you'd like more information, you can check out this fact sheet that talks about how to monitor and about their life cycle. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.